Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anne and this is Centralutions underscore M-E. We talk all about affordable perfumes here. So that's the kind of content you like. You're in the right place, definitely. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. And if you're new on here, welcome on board. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, don't hesitate to click the button and the notification bell too. So you know when I post new videos. Guys, today I have one for you that I think is very interesting and it is Abraj Carmine. So this is a dupe for Crimson Rocks by Amwaj. They have pretty much the same look, same, same bottle, aside from maybe the color of the cap. Beautiful bottle, just absolutely stunning. Let's start with the notes. This has, in the opening, pink pepper and cinnamon at the mid it has rose and honey and at the base there is atlas cedar there's vetiver and there's oak now what does this smell like to me this starts off like a sweet boozy honeyed cinnamon okay so think of a cinnamon stick dipped in liquor and honey that's what you're going to smell in the opening. It's really boozy. It's really cinnamony and it's sweet. Yeah. So the opening is really sweet. And that sweetness, you know, the honeyed sweetness, that one stays through the duration of the scent. So you're going to get those slight honey whiffs as this perfume dries to the end. Now, there's something that happens like three, five minutes in. And I think I have to share it so that if you experience it, you know that it's going to be fleeting. So from this, I get from the five minute mark thereabouts, I start to smell something a bit still, honestly. It smells like someone has peed on burning wood, like smoky wood. Almost like you're in the forest, you know, nature, people are camping, peeing around. That's what it smells like. It's very fleeting, honestly. Like, you might miss it, but it's there. I experienced it. Not everybody would experience that, but I did. And I thought to put it out there so that if you smell it, you don't get surprised. Okay, but it went away, let me say, about, um, would I say, 10 minutes in or five more minutes in it went away so i was able to enjoy the perfume more so uh honey cinnamon in the opening slightly boozy and all that in the mid you're going to start to get all those woods in fact in my opinion the woods actually start from the opening to be honest you're going to, there's an earthiness to the opening that stays through the duration of this scent you're never going to get the woods you know, the way it comes through in maybe a masculine perfume or something. No, the woods are always there. They sort of lend some depth to this, but they stay throughout and they just get a bit more prominent in the mid. This perfume dries into not a skin scent, but it doesn't dry down as potent as it starts off. So you get great projection, great sillage in the first one hour. After a while, it starts to dry into something that is a bit more close to the skin, okay? Now, the honey will stay throughout, the hints of cinnamon will stay throughout, the woods will stay throughout. So those are the three major notes you're going to get from this perfume. Do I get rose from this? No, I don't. I don't really detect the rose. But then in comparison to Crimson Vox, Crimson Vox retains the honey and um, it's a bit sweeter than this. So the honey is a lot more intense. It's richer. The opening is also boozy, but also has a jamminess to it. You know, just, it feels a bit more jammy a bit more yummy a bit sweeter that's a slight difference um but smell wise to be honest these two perfumes crimson rocks and uh carmine they are 80 to 85 percent similar so if you don't have crimson rocks money and you want to know what it smells like this will do the trick i promise you i smell them both side by side they smell so similar now, 
in terms of the dry down, um, Crimson Vox actually also retains that same woody, cinnamony, uh, honey dry down, but it lasts longer. So Crimson Rocks will give you four to upwards of four hours on your skin. This gives me roughly two hours on my skin and not even all the time. I have to be really well moisturized for it to last that long on skin. But on my hair and maybe on my wigs, I keep getting whiffs of it in the course of the day, but I would have had to spray like 10 sprays and above for it to last that long. So I would say that Crimson Vox obviously has better longevity. I mean, it's higher quality, better longevity. Um, on clothes, Crimson Vox will take you above eight hours on clothes on clothes this carmine will give you maybe four hours after which you have to respray so those are just the slight nuances this is a perfectly balanced perfume anybody in my opinion can wear this so the woods are not so heavy that it becomes mainly masculine no there's a perfect balance between the masculine and the feminine notes in here such that anybody can wear this where would I wear this to? I would wear this to an occasion where I have to be, you know, dressy and all that. I feel like this would suit that sort of aesthetic, a dressy type of aesthetic with lots of jewelry, you know, some bling, all of that. This kind of fits that aesthetic, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say about this perfume. I think it's beautiful. I'll give it an 8 over 10. But it's not, I repeat, it's not a safe blind buy because there's a whole lot of cinnamon. That slight, you know, nuance that I explained early on. So you have to be mindful of all this before you take the plunge. However, if you trust yourself and you trust how you feel about cinnamon, then you might want to give this a try. But like I said, if I have this, I don't really need Crimson Rocks, unless someone gets it from me, of course. So there you have it, my thoughts on Abraj Carmine. Let me know what you think and if you've used it. Till I see you on another video, please don't hesitate to subscribe if you haven't. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye.